Pilgrim Squad, what's up? This is your girl Dalu. I hope all is well with you and your family. In this video, I am going to show you how I am using frames from the dollar store to create three different beautiful, super, super duper glam DIY. Guys, I have some exciting news. Before I show you the DIY, I would love to share it with you. Are you ready? Drum well, please. Soon, pretty soon, you will be able to shop at my home decor store, Glam Style Home Decor. Yeah! <laughs> I am super excited, you guys. So, it is a project that I have been working on for a little while. I am super excited. It is a dream come true. So you guys, you have to play. What I'm gonna need you to do right now, you're gonna go on the website, the Glam Style Home Decor website. You are going to enter your email address. So this way you can be the first one to know once I launch. I am super excited. I cannot wait, but you guys have to keep playing. Link for the store will be in the description box and in the comment section. Okay, now that I'll show you where you're gonna be able to purchase your beautiful home decor items, now let me show you how to make them as well. As I mentioned, the frames that I am using are from the dollar store and they are the 8 by 10 I'm gonna remove the plastic and the paper that they came with. To create the look, I am gonna be using a total of 9. So my dear friends, if you are here for the first time, welcome to the Glam Squad family. We are all about creating beautiful glam and happy homes. I upload glam home decor videos, DIY, cleaning, and a little bit of cooking. If you are interested in any of this topic, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. To all of you, my returning Glam Squad, Thanks for all of your love and support. Be sure to check me out on Instagram at decor.glamstyle by Dalu. First, I'm gonna lay down the frames to figure out what the design is going to be. Initially, I have these little candles in between to make sure the space between the frames are equal on all the sides, but at the end it won't matter much. Now I have an idea what the design is going to be, although it is not the exact one what you guys are seeing right now, but I have a pretty good idea what I would like my design to be. Before I start gluing my frames together, I'm measuring to make sure everything will be placed accordingly. To glue the frames together, I am going to be using hot glue. The gun is from Amazon. Guys, you know I started a brand new channel, right? In that channel, I share tips and advice on personal finance, small business development. Also, I'm going to be sharing behind the scene of this YouTube channel, the business aspect of it, and behind the scene of my home decor store. Later today, I'm going to be uploading a video sharing tips on how to start a business. The link for the channel will be in the description box. I look forward to seeing you all there. So this is what I have so far. Three going this way and then two the other way. And then I'm gonna add two more frames to create a beautiful pattern.
is the first look. I think it is very beautiful, very elegant, and very modern. I love the sophistication of it, but yet it is simple. What do you guys think so far? For the second look, I am going to be adding a large mirror from Amazon. Before I glue the mirror, I put it down so I can measure on each side to ensure the distribution of the mirror is equal. For a permanent look, I would definitely use a different glue to glue the mirror. And this is the second one. What do you guys think? Do you have a preference so far? The first or the second one? As for me, I like both of them equally. Or do you want more glam? Don't worry, your girl got you. On the third look, I'm gonna be using the small square mirrors from the dollar store. And there it is. I love, love it. It is super glam, super elegant, very, very beautiful. But of course, which one is your favorite? Number three. Number two or number one. Thanks to all of you for stopping by today. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Make sure to hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos. I love you always. Bye-bye.